Okay, so here's an overview of what we need to be doing with this uh, failure of the Weimar Republic DBQ paper. Um, it's going to be due on Friday, April 3rd at 8 p.m. It will be worth the usual 50 points as the last DBQ paper was. Let's take a look at the prompt here and talk about what we need to do then. It says evaluate whether ideological opposition to liberalism or the weakness and ineptitude of the Weimar Republic itself was the greater factor behind the eventual collapse of the Weimar Republic. So what the documents, they're all written while the Weimar Republic is still ongoing, still in existence. But we know, of course, there will be this eventual collapse of the Weimar Republic. So as we look through the documents, you want to label them either ideological opposition to liberalism. This is the Weimar Republic being the German democracy in the interwar time period. So some of these documents are going to be by like fascist, communist, uh, maybe even like a traditional conservative, etc. These are going to be ideological opponents to liberalism. And even some of the documents that are written in support of the Weimar Republic uh, might talk about ideological opposition. So um, as uh, we had studied in terms of the problems of the Weimar Republic, you have communists on the left wing of the ideological spectrum, fascists and traditional conservatives on the right wing of the ideological spectrum seeking to destroy or overthrow or undermine the democracy. So that's what we'd be talking about in terms of documents that speak to ideological opposition to liberalism. The other, so one body paragraph is going to be documents that speak to that. The other topic and body paragraph that documents are going to speak to and that you want to organize your paper around is um, weakness and ineptitude, meaning dysfunction of the Weimar Republic itself. So some of these documents are going to talk about um, problems in the democracy just in terms of the democracy itself not doing a very good job. And again, this might be um, documents that are just straight up critical of the democracy. These might be documents from individuals who overall support the democracy, but see some weaknesses in the governance uh, brought about by the Weimar Republic. So that's going to be the other topic, and that's going to be the other body paragraph. So as you go through the documents, you want to label these like ideological opposition, um, weakness and ineptitude of the democracy that might have a little bit of both um, and you just need to use each document once beyond that and like we talked about last time the key to doing well on this paper is to read the directions and to ask for help beyond that honestly the directions are pretty much the same and as it says here you know we need to group these documents that's going to be the basis of your paper uh, in this case, one group will be documents that speak to ideological opposition as a factor in the collapse of the Weimar Republic, and then the other group of documents will be documents that speak to the weakness and ineptitude of the Weimar Republic itself as a factor in its collapse. Ultimately, in the thesis, and at one point in the body paragraphs, you need to make up an argument about which is the greater factor. And there you just need to cr be creative and, and create a line of argumentation in the thesis and that you're going to expound upon, elaborate upon in the body paragraphs about which one was the greater factor. So you're going to be talking about both. You're going to be talking about both in the thesis. One you're going to talk about, one topic you're going to talk about in one body paragraph, one topic you're going to talk about in another body paragraph, but in the thesis and in one of the body paragraphs, you need to talk about which is the greater factor. And there you just need to be a little creative with your lines of argumentation. Other than that, the directions are exactly the same as our imperialism um, DBQ that we did previously. So just make sure you read the directions, ask for help. They're the exact same number of points. They're the exact same expectations, etc. So um, just let me know if you have any questions. And um, that is our quick overview of the assignment. Thanks.